Hey guys, Ben Taylor here for another episode of Tutorial Goodness. If you use Lightroom to edit your photos, then today's tutorial is going to be a perfect fit. I'm going to show you how to dodge and burn your photos in Lightroom so that you can really draw in the attention of the viewer. Without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. So I want to say a big thank you for you guys joining me here today for this video. I really appreciate your support and then helping this channel grow. Now today, I'm going to be showing you how to carve and sculpt your images. And you're going to do this by dodging and burning. We're going to use Lightroom to do this with. Now, a lot of times people will do this in Photoshop. And it's because they're not aware that they can actually do it in Lightroom as well. So if you edit most of your photos in Lightroom, it makes sense to just carry on and do some dodging and burning in Lightroom as well. Now, I want to explain to you why dodging and burning is important. Now, put yourself in the scenario that, say, you're on social media, you've got a Facebook or an Instagram account, and a lot of times you'll just scroll through hundreds of images without even stopping. And it's because the image has not drawn the attention of your eye. It hasn't captured your attention. Dodging and burning really changes this completely. It enables you to carve out the lights and darks in your image and then that means the photo just pops out of the image and draws your eye's attention. The difference is, rather than scrolling straight through your newsfeed, you're gonna scroll and stop on the image and then you're gonna be really captivated by what you see. So this is really important to learn this and that's why I'm gonna show you how to do this in Lightroom today. Now, just before we jump in and do this, I just wanna say if you're here because you're serious about learning Lightroom and Photoshop, then this channel, is yours to enjoy. It's completely free, so you can just go on and watch videos whenever you'd like. And then may I suggest that you would hit the subscribe button, and that's just going to let you know whenever new videos are out and available, so that you can just watch them when you've got a bit of free time. Okay, so let's jump into today's tutorial and really start learning about dodging and burning. So the first thing we would really want to do is you want to learn how to understand dodging and burning. And this is going to be really quick and simple, so just stick with me on this. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into Photoshop and take a look at this circle. It's grey, it's boring, it's 2D, there's nothing great about it. But when you add light to this, it's going to transform it. Take a look at this. You now have a sphere. All that's happened here is light has been added to the top and darkness has been added to the bottom. And this has added depth. And depth is what dodging and burning does to your images. So now you understand dodging and burning, let's move on to really dodging and burning our image inside of Lightroom. This is the image we're going to be working with today, and good news for you, it's downloadable in the tutorial link inside the YouTube description. So a lot of portrait photographers will actually dodge and burn the face of their model after they've taken the photo, and the reason for this is because it enables them to carve out the facial features and it really makes them stand out more in their photo. So how do we dodge and burn? All you need to do is come over to adjustment brush here. You can do that by pressing here or alternatively press K. K is the shortcut. This is going to open up the adjustment brush. Now we want to change the amount because at the moment it's on zero. But first, we need to change the effect. Inside of Lightroom, you actually have two options. You have Burn and you have Dodge. Burn is to darken and Dodge is to lighten. So we're going to go and click on Burn to start with. And we're going to start by burning or darkening parts of the model's face. So we want to get the amount at about 1. It's on 30 or minus 30 at the moment. So we want it on minus 1 and we want the flow to be about 25. Now with these two settings, you're gonna get a very good amount of darkness that you'll be able to add into the skin. So let's zoom into the image first. Let's go one to three and zoom into the face. The areas that we're gonna be painting over are the darker areas that you can see. For instance, look at the cheekbones, they're darker. The side of the nose and also the eyes here, the temples, and under the lips. And these are areas of the face which are not 
generally facing towards the light anyway, they're facing away from the light and this means that we need to darken them. So now that we've got our brush set up, the amount is about minus one and then the flow is 25, let's start painting over these areas and darkening them. So I'm just going to paint over the cheek here, I'm just going to build up the effect. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Then I'm going to move on to the temple and just paint over this, make it darker. And then the other side as well. And I'm going to paint down the side of the bridge of the nose here and on the other side. And finally under the lips here and just on the bottom of the lips. Now you may not be able to see much of a change but just have a look at this. I'm going to turn the brush off and turn it on. You can see the difference that we've made just by adding that in. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? So if you think that this effect's a bit too strong, sometimes that can happen. All you need to do is just bring down the amount slider. I'm going to leave it where it is at the moment. Now something that can occur when you're painting on areas of the face and you're making them lighter and darker is you can end up going over areas like the hair. Now we don't want to affect the hair, do we? We don't want to make that lighter or darker. So all we need to do is press O, and this is going to bring up a mask. It's going to show you where you've been painting, basically. So if we zoom in, come over here, and go one to two, then we can see that we've also gone over the hair here. So all I need to do is press Alt, look at the middle of the brush, that's going to turn to a minus. This will now enable me to just paint away the area that I've gone over. Simple as that. Okay, so we've now painted away the extra areas that we didn't want to go over. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to turn my mask off by pressing zero. So we've darkened the areas of the face. Now we need to do the same, but we need to do with the lighter areas and we need to lighten them. So press new and this is going to give us a new brush. And then we want to keep the amount the same and keep the flow the same. Finally, we need to change the effect from custom to dodge, which means lighten. Now we need to lighten the areas of the face. So once again, look at the picture and really kind of analyze it. And you can see that the forehead here needs lightening, the bridge of the nose down the middle, also under the lip here, under the eyes and round the chin. So I'm going to start up here, I'm going to paint over, paint that lighter there, I'm going to paint it down the bridge of the nose and light that up. I'm going to paint under here, under the eye, and then I'm going to paint under the lips, sorry, above the lips, and then finally just under the chin. Okay, now we have lightened or dodged parts of the face. So let's have a look at both of these together now. So I'm going to click this off and click it back on. And you can see that we've really carved out the face. Now remember, if the effect's too strong, all you need to do is just drag your amount slider down and then that's just going to lessen the effect. So that's dodging and burning in Lightroom. It's really simple to do and a lot of people get confused and they think you can only do this in Photoshop, but you can do it in Lightroom. And the great thing is, if you've gone too far, all you need to do, remember, is check out your mask by pressing zero, and you can paint away with a minus brush by pressing Alt, and it works the same way as a mask does in Photoshop. Of course you have more layers in Photoshop, but this is a great way of editing everything in Lightroom instead of jumping from Lightroom to Photoshop after. So let's just press zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out of this image. <coughs> Excuse me. Corp here. Press one to two. Sorry, press one to four. This is going to zoom out. And let's just have a look at the before and after. This is the before. And this is the after. 
Big thank you to everyone for joining me for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful, and most of all, I hope you now understand how to dodge and burn inside of Lightroom. If you want to carry on learning Lightroom, then I've put together for you this very, very helpful little playlist here. All you need to do is click on it and you can watch Lightroom video after Lightroom video and then learn how to photo edit in this amazing program. Now, whatever you do today, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all again really soon.